హలో వెల్కమ్ టు ఎన్పిటిఈఎల్ ఎన్ఓసి అండ్ ఇంట్రొడక్టరీ కోర్స్ ఆన్ పాయింట్ సెట్ టెక్నాలజీ పార్ట్ టూ సో టుడే వీ టేక్ అప్ అనదర్ టాపిక్ ఇన్ దిస్ చాప్టర్ నేమ్లీ ఫిల్టర్స్ సో టుడే మోడ్యూల్ థర్టీ విల్ జస్ట్ స్టడీ బేసిక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫిల్టర్స్ గివన్ ఎ సెట్ ఎక్స్ it is easy to see that collection the collection of all nets in x is too large and indeed not a set on the other hand filters are going to be sub families of power set px of x and hence the collection of all filters on x is a set we shall see that filters will do quote and quote all the jobs that nets were invented for okay and some more through the concept of ultra filters and ultra close filters these concepts or anything parallel to that is not available for nets so that is uh, one way of looking at nets versus filters so filters seems to have an advantage so that is one of the uh, you may say justification for studying filters now after having studied nets quite thoroughly okay let x be a set by a filter or f i will be using this f f prime and so on this notation for filters filter f on x or some people may say f filter f in x also no problem we mean a non empty subset f of the power set px satisfying the following three conditions empty set is not a member of f please note this one it's very important f is closed under finite intersections this one is familiar familiar to you like in a topology okay a contained inside b contained inside x these are subsets of x a is in f implies b is in f all supersets of a member are also inside f this is the condition so such condition was not there when you are studying topology at all okay so similar to conditions of topology we have these three conditions only this two this is finite intersection is there okay and strongly empty set and x were there in the topology this one denies that empty set is there empty set should not be there so this is the important definition usually the name filter comes from the property 3 1 and 2 seems to have been put there as an afterthought okay this property 3 gen- uh, generalizes many many areas and in many such areas also people use the word filters okay so there the definitions will be different in algebra in in uh, geometry and various things you can use that note that 1 and 2 together imply that f has finite intersection property i will be using this one again and again what is the meaning of finite intersection property given any set of finitely many uh, members of f their intersection should be non empty first of all two says their intersection is a member closed under finite intersection means take finitely many members here take the intersection that also is a member but that member is non empty so together they imply f as finite intersection property since every filter okay is non empty 
okay you see started with a non empty subset of f in the definition of filter i have put a non empty subset as soon as a non empty subset is there x will be also there okay so i don't have to put that condition x is there empty set is not there and x is there okay also compare the conditions for a topology and for a filter this is what i have done already i will repeat it a topology always has always contains both empty set as well as the whole set whereas property one says that empty set is not there the second one is common to both of them topology as well as filter third is a much stronger than the third property or whatever is namely arbitrary union of members of f is in, uh, of tau is inside tau so that you have ha, looks like that we have replaced it, but this is very strong even if one member is there okay supersets there will be union of those they will be there so this is much more stronger than being a, a topology all right we have seen that x is there okay the total space total set x is there for all filters f inside x this more this implies that the smallest and simplest filter is singleton x you just take singleton x okay <laughs> of course x should not be empty set <laughs> x itself should not be empty set then singleton x is a filter okay because it has finite intersection property and there is nothing more bigger than that so this is all on the other hand the collection of all non empty subsets of x is not a filter unless x itself is a singleton you see in the case of topology there was this singleton x as well as sorry x as well as empty set if they are there that was a indiscrete space if you allow all the subsets that is a discrete space right here we cannot allow all of them at all it throw away the the empty set yet whatever is left out that will not be a filter unless x itself is a singleton because as soon as x has two points you can take singleton x singleton y they will be disjoint but their intersection is empty right so that is not allowed finite intersection property will be uh, will not be valid right or the property 2 here will not be valid if two disjoint sets are there so that is the that is the important thing you have to observe here okay so this is one example let us see some more useful examples given any non empty subset x subset of x look at the family fa this notation we will use again and again okay of all subsets of b subsets b of x which contain a including a of course this filter is called an atomic filter with a as its atom one single element and all its one single subset and all supersets okay so that is a filter obviously and that filter is called atomic filter with a as its atom now there is a notational uh, thing here if a is a singleton a i won't put the, that bracket here i'll just write f little a for f capital a now suppose you have an infinite set then there is the just like in the case of topology there is this cofinite filter what is it don't take empty empty set but take all other members of tau uh, this cofinite uh, topology namely all subsets such that their complement is finite okay cofinite subsets 
so that will be a automatically a filter because first of all if you take any two members their intersection has to be non empty because both of them have a complement complement is finite right. and you are working in an infinite set that is important okay the so moment one is there anything which is bigger than that will also have find co finite will be complementarily finite so that is also there okay so this is uh, an example not very useful or anything just to make the concepts of filters a little more clear what is happening given a net s from d to x so d is a directed set s is from d to x take a take any element a inside d and take the uh, section s a set of all s b such that b is for b follows a that or b is bigger than a whatever you want to say including a also okay look at that that is the definition little s a here now look at this s is coming here i am defining this fs fs is all subset a of x such that there exists an a belong to d such that this sa is contained inside a okay including the equality is allowed here all ss will be there and their supersets will be there that will be very easy to verify that that itself is a filter okay so this filter is called the filter associated to the net s so i am bringing net and filter together here via this concept okay namely s going to fs okay this filter is called the filter associated to net s okay it is important because it plays the role of a one way bridge from net s to filter why i am calling one way i don't know any nice way of going from filters to the nets this way it is very nice very easy work okay so this one way bridge is there we shall have an opportunity to elaborate on this point why this important to bridge okay just by having such a function doesn't make uh, much sense so we will see why this is important here is one more example in a topological space take the family of all neighborhoods in x of a point x given each x you take the neighborhood of okay that x is fixed here by the way this nx itself is a filter okay finite intersections all of them will contain x so it is non empty anything bigger than that will be a neighborhood so automatically they are all there and so on right and the whole space is there empty set is not there because empty set cannot be neighborhood all okay all right so you may say that this simple example is the role model for the topological theory of filters remember the filters were defined without any reference to topology there was no topology on x but what we did was we compared it with the concept of topology also that's all okay so far there was no topology if this this example is the first example wherein topology of x is used to get a filter and this filter is the filter which guides us as far as the topological theory what what does mean by this one convergence and such things okay for this we have to refer to this one let us see how it comes now before taking up the study of interaction of filters with topologies let us proceed our study of filters in a fashion similar to study of topologies but independent of any reference to particular topologies on x except noting down 
certain similarities between this and dissimilarities between this and the concept of topology that's all okay so we will take more examples also later on all right so first notice that if f alpha is a family of filters on x then their intersection is a filter you had a similar theorem for topology that is what i wanted to say that we are comparing intersection of arbitrary families of filters all of them are remember they are sub families of px so whole thing is make sense what is the meaning of this take all subsets a of x okay so set is a is inside f alpha for every alpha so that is the intersection of this family that is a filter of course empty set is not in any of them so it, it won't be here also all right so you can easily verify that this is filter however even the union of just two filters may fail to be a filter because one filter may have an element of uh, some set another another one their intersection may be empty right you don't know that there is no hypothesis so that is one reason why union of two filters may fail to be a filter this was there in topology also but luckily if you have two topologies you can take the union and then generate a topology containing that even that will not be possible in the case of filters okay so however we would like to uh, do that kind of thing here namely generating filters just the way we have done generating topology okay a sub family b of a filter is called a base for f if for each a inside b there exists a b belonging to b such that b is contained inside a this is very very similar to the definition of a base for a topology there for each x and a and a member containing that there must be something b here here there is no reference to the point at all for each a inside f there must be a smaller b which is inside this curly b okay in other words take a member of b curly b take all supersets they can be they are allowed to be inside f that is the construction here now that is that that, that, that is where we are leading towards so we have made a definition of a base here for example the entire f is a base for itself just like in a topology okay the entire set is a base so this definition of a base satisfies similar to the conditions or what we have done in the what we have done uh, for topology but it's much more general okay for example the base for a topology had to have this property namely union of all members is x that x it must be a cover for x no such condition is here okay all right let us look at uh, some examples any local base at x belong to x where x is a topological space now is a base for the filter nx so this was one of the inter important filter right so you don't have to take all the neighborhoods you take a base in the usual terminology of a local base in the topology that will be a base in the sense of filter is the base for the filter right because what what is it if you have a base for every neighborhood of x there will be a member in the base and that that condition is satisfied that is what it is here over a base determines a unique filter in the following way the family of all sets which contain some member of b okay you see 
there may be a filter here b is a base for that but this filter what i am generating may be even larger okay why because this the family of all sets which contain some member of b is taken in particular if i start f a filter and a base for it okay the filter generated by that determined by that may be even larger that's all so it is clear that if we start with a non empty family b which satisfies 1 and 2 then it defines a unique filter for which b is a base okay also it is clear that different bases may give rise to same filter if give rise to means i have given you i have described a, a method here okay generating or whatever you want to call taking all the members which are supersets of some member of b okay the following result gives a complete picture now a non empty b contained inside px of non empty subsets of x is a base for some filter on x if we and only if b1 b2 belong to b there exists b3 belonging to b such that b3 is contained inside b1 intersection b2 you see this is again similar to the base similar to topology in the topological space except here no reference to the point okay given any two things intersection should contain another member intersection mean itself may not be there intersection should contain another member from b3 okay so once this is there okay because they are non empty right so finite intersections will be also non empty and finite intersections you can go b1 b2 b3 b3 b1 b2 with a b version then you keep taking further and further okay intersections of that if b3 b4 is there then you can take b5 which is contained in that one and so on so this is very easy to prove by induction so non empty family b of px is non empty subsets of x is a base for some filter if and only if for b1 b2 belong to b there exists a b3 belong to b this is a b3 so this is similar to that one there is no problem at all this one all right now we come to the next stage of this generating and then only i will write use the word generating here exactly similar to what we did in uh, topology okay what is the next stage sub base what is a sub base let us define a sub family s of px is called a sub base for a filter if and only if the family of all finite intersections of members of s forms a base you understand you see there is no condition of fi finite intersections and so on that was taken care by this condition on the base now starting with arbitrary family s okay that will called a sub base this is a definition now for a filter f if and only if the family of all finite intersections form a base in this case we say s generates f yes, or equivalently f is generated by s okay yeah tell me yes, sir this condition that family of all finite intersections form a base this automatically imply that every that empty set cannot be in the s empty set can be there em empty set will not be there but the family may be empty empty set will not be a member of this one at all because if it empty set is there 
then it will be there in the base also right but it cannot be a base because once it is in the base it will be in the filter also so that is not allowed this s also cannot be empty set, right? s s can be empty why because what is the finite intersection of members of s members of an empty set that will be complete x whole x is will be there once x x is the only thing now okay singleton x forms a base for what singleton x So if S is uh, empty, then we will get the our smallest uh, smallest filter. The smallest filter has two bases, sub bases. Empty set is a sub base. Singleton X is also sub base, but it is a base. Singleton X is the whole space also. <laughs> okay. Singleton X is not a sub base. for sub base we need non empty non empty families okay because once it is sub base we are taking only supersets there we are not going to take finite finite intersections there so empty set, set is not a member of any base whereas empty set can be a member of uh, sorry empty set cannot be a member but the family itself can be empty <laughs> okay so as you have pointed out the finite intersection of members of s forms a base automatically implies that empty set is not a member but this family s may have no members also that is allowed however in practice it gives you only the singleton x right therefore for for all practical purposes you can assume start with m s as non empty family that's all so family s contains a px is a sub base for a filter if and only if s has finite intersection property once again you may be confused if s is empty set it has finite intersection property because the only family which is finite family is empty family there the empty family intersection is the whole set it, that is not non, non empty okay so now we will do little more with functions this is again similar to what we did in topology start with any function from one set to another set s b s sub base for a filter f on x then i want to push it to y what is how do push i how do i push it take f of s curly s equal to all f a where a is inside s so this is a sub family of uh, p y right if uh, s has some elements there then fa will have some elements all right so this family is a sub base for a filter and that filter will be denoted by f check of f okay so how do we have to do that what is the meaning of sub base for a filter now take finite intersections of members of fs then take all the supersets so that is your f check of f all right so all that i have to see is that this family has finite intersection property if you take fa1 fa2 fan intersection is f of a1 a2 a1 a1 intersection that will be contained inside that one so that is non empty that's all notice that the family ff okay namely uh, if you take s instead of s here put f the whole f where f is a filter okay ff such as fa is a fa fails to be a filter 
on y in general okay what we have done you take a sub base and then this will be a sub base for a filter it will not it may not be a filter in general because there may be bigger subsets which don't come from s at all right bigger subsets which don't come from even f so if you take fa such that a is inside f this may fail to be a filter okay however if you take f check of f that contains the family of f because what is the meaning of f check of f f check of f treat f as a sub base for f itself right then f check of f makes sense so this is this contains f f that's all this is similar to situation of push outs of topology same thing we have done for topology also if you take open subsets of x and then take their images okay that may fail to uh, become a topology but unlike in the case of topology pulling back filters going the other way okay where it was nice in the case of topology pulling back filters under arbitrary functions does not work here remember if y is a why is a topological space there is a topology x is some uh, some set and x f from x to y is a uh, some function then i can take inverse image of open subsets in y they themselves form a topology on x that was a nice situation for here it doesn't work not only that we don't need it at all okay so even it's worse than that namely even the family f inverse of b where b is a b is in s prime is a sub base so okay this may not satisfy the finite intersection property so of course if we assume f is surjective then this works so you have to assume more and more hypothesis so let us not bother about because we are not going to use it in the convergence theory of filters which is our aim after all okay so this is what i mean by saying that basics of filters that's all next time we shall now study seriously its relation with topology namely convergence theory for filters okay thank you